I tried to price up a new army of Death Corps of Krieg, but unfortunately most of it is from Forge World. Death Corps of Krieg is possibly the coolest army that you can collect in 40k, but it also is the most expensive. I took it upon myself to find another way to collect this army without selling the kidney. And I'm going to show you how I managed to pay a fraction of the cost and also got better models later on in this video. But first, I gave them the benefit of a doubt and I rung Forge World and asked them if there was maybe a glitch on their system that was causing such a high price. Hello, is this the Forge World sales department? Oh, great. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm just online at the moment and I'm just looking to place an order. But my only problem is that it's coming to over a thousand dollars and there's only like 12 boxes of Death Corps of Craig models in it. It doesn't even equal a thousand points. Maybe there's like something you can do for me. There, there's nothing you can do. Do I want to place the order for a thousand dollars? I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. If you want a thousand dollars, I can tell you I don't have any money. But what I do have is a 3D printer. I put it on my computer and started to search for alternative models that I could 3D print. With most of the army from G-Dubs being resin, surely I could find sculpts that could match or even surpass their quality. Because unlike resin from Forge World, I don't have to worry about major warping or quality control issues. First of all, I need the Guardsman, and depending on the style of model you want, Forge World would cost $79 for 10 models. Or you could get the plastic updated version from Games Workshop for only $60. For 3D printing, there are a ton of different options to choose from, and some are absolutely fantastic but I've chose just one creator for this video to keep it simple and because it's the ones that I like the most. It costs $15 for the files, although it does have to be said that there are sales at different parts of the year, so if you are patient, you could pick these up and the future STLs I talk about for cheaper. That's just $15 for the files, we still need to account for the resin. 10 Kriegsmen use a total of 40 grams of resin, which roughly works out to be $1, which did I work that out right? Carry, the, carry this over a minute, yeah. Yep, I did, yep. $16 for 10 Kriegsmen. Now, that's more like it price-wise, but it gets even better as we scale it up. A normal guard army will use 60 guardsmen, and because we have already paid the one-off fee of $15 for the files, every extra 10 Kriegsmen will cost $1. 60 Kriegsmen from Forge World is $474, from Games Workshop, it's $360, and for 3D printing, it's $21. I'm very happy with the models, and you can see they've pulled from the same sources of influence as G-Dubs did. But the main benefit of these models is the supports. They are top of the line. I've never had any problems with them. It wouldn't be fair for me to compare my cost because I already have a 3D printer, and many of you watching this might not have one. So I'll quickly run through a breakdown of what you need and how much it costs, and if you don't need to know this information, then just skip to the timestamp that I've put here. You'll need a 3D printer, so I've personally used an Elugu Mars 2 Pro, which you can normally find on sale for about 180 to 200 pounds on Amazon. You'll need nitro gloves to protect your hands while you're handling the resin because it's very toxic and it should be treated with the highest respect. You can buy a 100 pack for just under 10 pound, and these are probably the one thing that I would stock up the most on. You need resin, so I've used both water washable resin and ABS like resin and I normally try and find them on offer for about £28 for a kilogram. If you go for ABS like resin or standard resin then you're going to need isopropyl alcohol or IPA for short to clean the models. Now this is normally about £10 for one litre and you generally save more if you buy it in bulk. Finally you'll need UV light to cure the models. I used to use a nail lamp but since I've bought a dedicated UV light and some aluminium tape and it costs a total of £25. You could also just use the sun if you're lucky, or you could buy a wash and cure station, usually between £100 and £200. Every good guardsman needs a heroic commissar to lead them. And Forge World have a set of three that cost $57. Why is it so expensive for single figures? With all of the 3D printable options, I chose these three commissar-like models. One problem I do have is that there isn't a multi-pack version for the files like there is for the official models. If that could be implemented, then it would make it even better value, but for these three files, it costs $18 in total. Unfortunately, higher priced individual models isn't just limited to G-dubs. Creators seem to be guilty of it as well. 
I would have liked to have seen these three total, maybe 10, 12 dollars in the multi pack, but the three commissars use a total of 11 grams of resin, costing 30 cents. So it means our total cost is only $18.50 which is another $38 saved. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video because the last three models that I print are just gonna blow your mind with the amount of savings that I got. One unique unit for Krieg and also possibly one of their best on the tabletop, if used right, is the engineers. They have the ability to just pop up from the ground and blast the enemy away with their effective shotguns. From Forge World, they cost $46 for five, which means each model is costing nine dollars the files themselves cost ten dollars and for five engineers it only uses 18 grams of resin which costs roughly 50 cents so that's ten dollars fifty for five 3d printed engineers another 35 dollars saved the last two models that we have 3d printed have already saved us a decent amount of money in fact we've already paid for the 3d printer in full and then some the death riders are an amazing addition to any krieg army for the tabletop and these lab grown horses with their gas masks are my favorite model for krieg and forge world know it because they want 147 dollars for five models jesus wept that is a lot for five models the 3D printed files cost $12.50 and only use 66 grams of resin, costing a total of $1.80. Meaning for five Death Riders, I only pay $14.50. I thought my Imperial Knight video was the pinnacle of savings by printing your own armies, but this just blows it out of the water. So far, I've saved $540. Heavy Weapons team seem to be getting a bit of a boost lately, and I do love Laz Cannons. So for one, it's $42. Hang on, $42, is that right? Maybe they should sell the resin machines and just get some 3D printers. The 3D printable file costs $12.50 for the three different options, which is much more like it. One heavy weapons team uses 17 grams of resin costing 40 cents. I included three in the army, so that's $126 I would have had to pay Forge World, or I could just 3D print them for $14. Yeah, I think I'll just print them and spend the $112 saved on more resin. There's something missing from this army and I can't quite put my finger on it. I was going to include in my Lehman Ross tanks, but they don't exactly scream Krieg to me. But there is one model that does. The most iconic model for any Krieg force has to be the manned artillery earth shaker cannons. Blasting away the enemy, softening up the defenses before those shovel welding madmen charge into battle. The file costs $12.50 for the cannon and $10 extra if you want to add in the artillery crew. I would have preferred if these were bundled together and sold for maybe $15, $20, but it is what it is. For three cannons and crew, it only used 270 grams of resin, costing $7.50. So instead of paying Forge World $571 for an earth shaker battery, I'm able to print it for $30 all in. This project also didn't take much time at all because all of the models were pre-supported and very high quality pre-supports at that. This army is literally plug in and print, which makes it a great first army for someone that's new to 3D printing and wants to get in their first army. It also makes it extremely easy for anyone looking to add another army to their growing collection or pile of shame. If you're looking for more people to talk about 3D printing, then you should join my Patreon or become a YouTube member and hop onto the private Discord. We have a huge collective knowledge on printing Warhammer models and we are all very helpful. It's such a good tight knit community. I just want to thank all of my Patreons because without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do these videos. And honestly, you you all rock. I, just, I still don't know why you do it, but I'm very grateful that you do. And I also want to thank subscribers as well because Guys, there's so many of you now, <laughs> I don't know what to do. But thanks very much, you're honestly so grateful for all of you. All of these models add up to roughly about 1,000 points and I think we can all agree that $1 per one point for an army is just too much. Games Workshop wanted $1,128 and I managed to spend a total of $44. Now, if you were starting from scratch, it would be $300 but now you have the ability to expand on your armies, 
for even cheaper than before. This is a prime example of how wrong G-Dub's pricing is. In fact, I was originally going to do this video in Australian dollars, but I thought it would just be too unbelievable for the rest of my audience. A lot of people came to G-Dub's defense in my last video on how much does it cost to 3D print Imperial Knights. But I think now we'll have to ask, why is there so much of a difference? And is this thousand dollars worth the difference in your opinion? Because I know I would rather have the thousand dollars, especially nowadays, the way things are going. I also just realized while tallying up for this video that we haven't even used a full bottle of resin. And I really do wonder how many models I could get out of a full bottle. So if that's something that you're interested in, let me know in the comments below. But before you do, there's one major thing that we need to consider. And that's that all of these models are pre-supported. And in 3D printing, you're gonna to need to learn how to support yourself. So to help you, I actually made this video that you should watch next, and it's how to 3D print a Space Marine from start to finish.